Good Sunday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. Low pressure is a big one across the western Gulf at 972 millibars. An east and southeast flow working up over the Gulf ahead of an occlusion is pushing some warm and wet air into Prince William Sound, the eastern Kenai Peninsula, Kodiak Island, and the Pacific coast of the Alaska Peninsula. And that also means warmer air is spilling over the Alaska Peninsula and into Bristol Bay. We're going to watch the ice gradually erode in some of those areas as we head through the first part of next week. In the meantime, that warm and wet air could make for a slippery situation for south and western Alaska, for the Kuskokwim and Yukon Deltas, and even the lower Yukon Valley, a freezing rain advisory. In some cases, starts up tonight and lasts well into the daytime tomorrow. Now, most areas will be dealing with about one to two tenths of an inch of freezing precipitation. Uh, the greatest risk, though, will be the Kuskokwim Delta and areas around Bethel and surrounding communities and villages should be watching out for slippery conditions developing there, especially in some of the boardwalks, as you start to see conditions change over, especially after midnight tonight. Looking northward, blowing and drifting snow will be possible. It will likely be more of a problem for gaps in some of the valleys and channeled areas in the interior, especially north of the Alaska Range. It does include the Denali region. A winter weather advisory is in effect for you for blowing snow. Watch for east winds around 25 to 35 miles per hour and stronger gusts to 45, a possibility, for example, around the middle Tanana Valley. And for the Arctic coast, wind chill advisories are still in effect from New Ixit and areas westward along the central Beaufort Sea Coast all the way to Barrow, Point Lay, and Wainwright, looking for wind chill values there that could be as cold as 55 below. A winter weather advisory for blowing snow for the eastern Beaufort Sea coast, including Kaktovik and areas southward into the coastal plain and the north-facing slopes of the eastern Brooks Range. There's a lot going on as well for wind across the Alaska Range. High wind warnings from the upper Kuskokwim Valley and all the way down the Alaska Range will start up starting late tonight and lasting well into the daytime tomorrow. Look for the strongest winds to gust up to 70 miles per hour. Meanwhile, storm force winds are expected in the central and western Gulf. As the storm system gradually works over the Alaska Peninsula, it will spread the chance of snow and freezing rain up the western coast and even mixed precipitation into places like Nome and additional light snowfall for the Kotzebue Sound region and another system's coming in right behind it. With Alaska statewide weather, this is meteorologist Dave Snyder.